Hi, and welcome back to Science in VR. Science in VR is brought to you by OzGrav, the ARC Center of Excellence for Gravitational Wave Discovery. Today, we are going to explore LIGO with Cyber. Before we get into that, let's take a moment and talk a little bit about what happens to stars when they reach the end of their stellar life. In this slide here, you can see that different stars have different trajectories on what they end up as at the end of their stellar lives. Some will become black holes, some will become neutron stars, and some will become white dwarfs. We won't go into what dictates what path each star will take, but for the most part, the largest stars will become black holes, moderate-sized stars will become neutron stars, and the smallest stars will become white dwarfs. Black holes are so dense that they cannot even emit light. However, we can detect their presence based on how they distort the fabric of space around them. In this image, you can see that the background light looks distorted. That's because the light passing near the black hole will actually bend due to the distortion in space time that the black hole creates. Neutron stars, another stellar remnant, are also very dense, but not quite as dense as black holes. However, they can be observed using different means. In addition to distorting the space-time around them, neutron stars also emit energy in the form of radio jets. Sometimes these neutron stars are called pulsars because those radio jets sweep across the galaxy and if those jets sweep across the Earth, we're able to detect them on radio telescopes. Sometimes these black holes or neutron stars exist in pairs. If we have two pulsars or two black holes orbiting each other, over time they can get closer and closer as their orbits decay. Eventually, as the orbits get smaller and smaller, these objects will get closer and closer and eventually coalesce or merge. This merger will release a lot of energy. And especially with something like black holes, they can't emit their energy in the form of light. When two of these stellar remnants merge, they can also release energy in the form of gravitational waves, which are ripples in the fabric of space-time. Detectors, called LIGO, that's Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory, have been built in order to try to detect these ripples in the fabric of space as they pass the Earth. LIGO uses lasers to detect when the Earth is moving due to a gravitational wave passing through. We will explore LIGO a little bit more closely when we get into the app. However, the general idea is that if gravitational waves pass through the detector, the waves will cause the Earth to stretch and squash and respond to those gravitational waves. What we can do is we can use lasers here on Earth in order to detect that stretching and squashing of the Earth. Now let's go into the app to explore LIGO a little bit more here we are again at the main menu of Cyver. What you're going to do is look down and click on the button that says LIGO. This is going to take us to a model of the LIGO interferometer. If you take a look around, you'll notice that there are little hot buttons with little eyes for information. We've built in some intuitive features in the scene to give you a guide. An arrow points to the first information bubble you should open. After this overview, the arrows will lead us to take a closer look at parts of the LIGO detector. Here we can see the high power laser used in the detector. Hitting the green button, we can turn the laser on. This is the device that's called a beam slitter that will take that laser and send it down the two separate arms. We're going to follow our arrow out to investigate the mirror off which the laser reflects. This mirror uses a quadruple pendul pendulum in order to isolate outside vi the mirror from outside vibrations. We'll head over to the other mirror to get a closer look at it and note the high quality finish 
of these mirrors. From there, we're going to head out to this information bubble, which will tell us a little bit more about the first major detections with the LIGO detector. Now, what we can do is we can actually create those detections in our app. First, we're going to create a binary black hole merger. Notice how we have a signal created on our LIGO detector. If you look up, you'll see two black holes. The black holes are orbiting, creating gravitational waves as they get closer and closer. These gravitational waves travel through space, and then when they pass the LIGO detector, create a very signature pattern on the interferometer detector. Notice as they get closer and closer together, we are getting an increasing of the frequency at which the Earth stretches and squashes. Now, just a caveat here, the gravitational waves do take a long amount of time to travel from the black hole to the Earth. Now we're going to turn on a neutron star merger, and you'll notice here we have those same pulsar beams that we saw earlier in our video. These pulsars are orbiting, warping the fabric of space-time. We can look at our detector and see that once again we are getting a signal. If you look closely, we are also getting a stretching and a squashing of the grid that's representing the Earth. They're going to get closer and closer together, and when these two things merge together, in addition to creating a new black hole, we're also going to get an explosion with light emitted. Take some time to explore LIGO a little bit more, but from here we're going to go ahead and hit our home button and head back to our main menu for the app. Now let's go take a look at some more LIGO resources available. Let's go to the LIGO public page for information and resources. That's ligo.org backslash public dot php. That page will bring us here to the LIGO Scientific Collaboration Information and Resources. There's a lot of places that you can check out here, but we're going to bring your attention to the teachers page. By clicking on there, it'll take us to this page with additional activities for teachers. While there is information about visiting the observatories, we're going to focus more specifically on the activities. This activities page will bring a host of resources that are available to understand LIGO and black holes a little bit better. There's links to a black hole hunter game, a space quest space-time quest game, but what we're going to do is we are going to go down a little bit to the activities for the classroom, specifically under the resources for educators. We'd like to draw your attention to this educator's guide on the first detection of gravitational waves. Clicking on that takes us to a document portal. If we click on the LIGO educators guide, that will take us to a downloadable document. This PDF document has a lot of information about the background of the detection of gravitational waves as well as some activities that could be completed in the classroom setting about the warping of space-time and coalescing black holes. Thanks for joining us and we hope you've enjoyed this video.